My name is uh, Keijo Helianko. I'm professor of computer science uh, at Aalto University and uh, we've now been involved in, um, in an EU dot uh, project where uh, we're running a pilot on Aalto uh, level uh, where we are uh, piloting this EU level uh, data repository uh, for Aalto researcher use. So let's see, how does this work? Up or, okay, yeah. So EU. Um, this is a large uh, European project uh, building research data management infrastructure. And um, we are one of uh, 20 plus EU uh, data pilots that uh, are uh, being run in the year 2016. And we have started um, the pilot in January 2016 after uh, doing uh, some preliminary work on 2015 on the different possibilities uh, of how to uh, store research data and research metadata. And um, the pilot use uh, is basically focused on uh, usability testing of, of EU that services from our researchers' perspective. Um, so we, we want to see how, how well does the system work. And, um, and also, uh, based on this, uh, we want to do recommendations for Auto um, on, on the practical use of, of this system, whether, which are the groups of people that, that we want to uh, employ this system for, and, and for which uh, groups of researchers some um, other solutions might be better. So let's, let's move uh, forward. So motivation, so, so why do we want to uh, take a look at an EU level solution? Uh, first of all is the visibility of data. So there is a potential uh, large European level visibility of published data sets. So, so we, we thought about uh, also using, let's say, a university level uh, data repository. And one of the negative sides there is that uh, it's very hard to find those repositories quite often. So, so if you have research data on, on a centralized European level uh, repository, you, you might be uh, better in, in, uh, in being found. Um, then there's the long-term viability of storage. So the, one of the main challenges at the researcher level is, is okay, how, how do you store your data in, in a long term? And, um, this is not fully solved uh, in EU DAT. So, so what EU DAT pro provides is that um, they they are planning to to have this permanently available, but uh, of course the the funding is is only fixed term. But but they do provide that okay. Should the project ever end, uh, they will have a two year period in which you can move your data out somewhere else, and uh, they're planning to have the metadata available uh, even longer. So the, the identifiers uh, you get through EU that uh, will remain valid even if the storage side uh, would, would go somewhere else. So, so the data can be migrated to other systems should, should this project end at some point. Uh, it's also nice that uh, CSC in Finland is, is very much involved in, uh, with EU that. So, so uh, the project manager is from CSC. And, uh, and we have very good uh, collaborations with CSC in the past, so, so that was a very nice, nice uh, bonus, so to speak, uh, when, when talking about uh, the possibilities for collaboration. And the, uh, the researchers um, have possibility to both store data for, for long-term archival and to publish metadata in the same uh, B2Share interface. So, so there's a single web portal called web B2Share uh, through which you can uh, store uh, both uh, your metadata and, and data at the same go. And then there are also other features. So, so for this project level collaboration, so the yellow picture of, of openness, uh, there are features for file sharing. Uh, there's a Dropbox-like functionality in, in a service called P2Drop, uh, where uh, kind of consortia-wide uh, data files can be shared. And this might be interesting to Horizon 2020 projects for, for sharing consortia-wide files uh, that will not get uh, wider access. Now, uh, we've had discussions with, uh, with uh, various uh, national level, uh, uh, let's say, um, initiatives like uh, 
the ATT uh, and, uh, and uh, the ETSIN uh, in particular. Um, so we are trying to use uh, the, the ATT defined metadata formats for the data uh, that Alto pilot users will be using. So, so we managed to get uh, those metadata templates uh, into uh, EUDAT for, for Alto users to use. And then the, the idea is that, that because the metadata formats would be the same, that the Etsin could uh, then harvest uh, the metadata of, of the Alto, Alto data uh, stored in uh, EUDAT, so that, that we would also have the national visibility of the metadata uh, of, of the data sets that, that end up in, in EUDAT uh, storage. Okay, so let me talk about the consortium. Uh, so this is the, the consortium, so there are 35 European organizations. Alto is, is not an official partner. Uh, the Finnish partners are CSC and University of Helsinki, but we are a, uh, a data, data pilot user. So, so we're not directly getting funding from EU, that project, but we're uh, getting storage space and, and getting pilot uh, support uh, from the project. Um, there are some very, very large organizations involved, like CERN and, and, and many other, other large organizations. And the, uh, the aim of the project is to uh, enable European researchers uh, to preserve, find, access, and process data uh, using this collaboration. And many of the national uh, HPC or supercomputing uh, centers are involved. So, so you all not only have research, but you also have the kind of national storage infrastructure uh, players involved. And the vision of the project is that uh, you're able to uh, share and preserve data across borders and disciplines. And of course, uh, this uh, will uh, improve European research communities' uh, chances to uh, do data preservation and, 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 and open data. So here's uh, a picture of the architecture that's a bit, uh, bit too detailed, uh, but, uh, but the, the basic uh, things are, are like, we have uh, things for access control, so, so you can get uh, user accounts, uh, and, uh, and also users that are not part of these data pilots can already store data in here. So it's not only restricted to, to the data pilot users. If you're a small scale user, uh, you can share your data in B2Share uh, and, uh, and you do not have to have any, any special agreement to do that. Um, then there's deposit. So B2Share that we will be mostly talking about uh, is about data, data storing and metadata uh, management. Uh, then we have B2Drop, which is, which is kind of collaboration within a project. There are a couple of things we're not piloting, so there's B2Shave and Stage that are more about uh, things like replicating data sets over, over several uh, physical locations and, and things like that that are interesting for us, sharing data sets between organizations. Um, and then there are various things like B2Find uh, is similar to the Etsin, National Etsin service that, that uh, you can search for various data sets uh, through that. And uh, we have other things like handle is a technical thing for, for getting uh, unique object identifiers through which you can get access to your data. Even if the data moves around, you, you can still have the handle unique ID uh, in there. There's also a discussion with the EU that, that they would uh, provide DOIS, uh, and that would be of great interest to researchers because then those are, are commonly used for, for citing papers, and, and people are, are, are used to using, using those for, uh, for uh, that. So, so using those also to cite data uh, would be quite convenient. Um, and the, um, that's, that's the overall architecture. And here are a couple of the larger co research communities that are already using EUDAT services. So, so there are a couple of, let's say, discipline-specific data sharing uh, projects that, that have been already using uh, EUDAT for a while. So there's a, uh, a language uh, technology uh, data sharing platform. 
uh, there's earth modeling, there's life science, uh, then uh, kind of, yeah, thanks. Then uh, various, various uh, things like uh, plate observation system, carbon observation, and long-term ecosystem re research. Um, so, so there are a couple of these, uh, let's say, discipline-specific data sharing, sharing projects that are using EUDAT as the, as the storage service and as, as the service for storing their metadata. And they also are able to replicate the data between uh, different, different uh, sites. Okay, so what are these challenges at Aalto? So, um, Ella was talking about uh, the fact that uh, we, uh, at Aalto, we need to decide for each data set which ones are going to be open, fully open, and, and which ones are going to be uh, then, let's say, uh, restricted and internal. Um, and um, one of the things that we have in Aalto is that data science is one of the focus areas of Aalto. And um, these data sets include uh, bioinformatics, social media, brain images, and, and whatnot. And, and one of the problems or, or potential, uh, potentials for, for getting better collaboration would be to have a better archive of, of also the closed data sets uh, in Aalto. Um, and one of the challenges is that EU that maybe is not yet uh, the platform for sharing closed data sets within uh, a, uh, a organization. So this is, EU that is about sharing data across organizations, but okay. If you're a data scientist, you might also be interested in, in your collo uh, colleagues' data that are not fully open to the world, but are open within Aalto for collaboration, and, and how, to, how to also get that, that data into a good uh, data management system uh, is, is one of the open issues. So we have, uh, at Aalto level, we have a research data management policy now in place. And EU that is one of the main candidates to implement some parts of it. Uh, and there's no widely used data management platform. Of course, each one of the research disciplines are using uh, discipline-specific techniques for, uh, for storing data. But there's, uh, let's say, there's not this implementation plan in place that would say, okay, the, these are the Alto encouraged systems that, that the researchers use and, and uh, the the work in our pilot is to see whether we could uh, use EU data as one of the main, main places to, to store data, uh, and, and for, for which kinds of users would that be wise. So, so the uh, purpose of the pilot is to build a research data management suite that would cover all the research data management needs, or at least the ones that are uh, related to uh, sharing, sharing Aalto data uh, outside of Aalto. Um, this will host uh, both data and metadata. There are also going to be other uh, data set host insights. And, um, and one of the things that we, could, we would wish to do is, is to have also this inter-Aalto uh, collaboration going on. Um, and the, uh, one of the things we're discussing is, is how do we integrate this nicely to the national level infrastructures. But the basic idea here would be that we are using the same metadata formats as national level infrastructure so that the national level ETSIN uh, could harvest the metadata we're producing through EUDA. So these are the two, two main functionalities we'll use, B2 share, B2 drop. Um, and uh, so let me conclude. So, um, we're piloting this EU that solution for research data management. Um, the e European level visibility is, is vital for researchers. Um, DOIs uh, are, are also interesting for, for uh, us. Um, let's see if EU that is able to provide those. They, they are planning to, to do that, but it's not there yet. Um, Having a single interface to store both data and metadata in a single system is vital for usability, I would say. Uh, so having a separate system for storing data and for storing metadata is, is not really a usable solution. So, so quite often then the two things will get out of sync. 
Um, Long-term storage of metadata and data needs a large consortium to obtain sustained funding. So we're hoping that, that this being Europe-wide and having many, many countries and many, many institutions uh, would provide the, the long-term funding uh, to, to do sustained uh, preservation of, of metadata and hopefully also data. And uh, usability of software is vital. So, um, so this is what we're working on with, uh, with my master's student, Taufik, who's there in the, in the audience. Maybe you can wave your hand. Hi. So, <laughs> so he's, he's taking a look at, at this on the practical level. Uh, so um, to, to make this uh, happen also in practice and not only in paper, the system should be usable enough for our researchers to use. And, uh, and to recap, we're using the same research data uh, metadata management as the national level uh, to get the, the um, harvesting possibilities open. Um, and here's a reference. So, so here's a, uh, a thesis that uh, one of my master's students, Miro Nurmela, did last year um, that uh, is, is going through some of the issues of research data management. And, and it's going through different, different solutions there. And based on this, we, we uh, decided to try the EU data as, as a pilot. Um, there are also other, other solutions available, of course. Uh, and uh, EU data is not the only, only uh, thing we're trying out currently. Uh, we're also trying out other things. But uh, um, because of the size of the consortia, I think uh, um, this has uh, the chances of, of uh, being uh, sustain sustainable on the, on the long term, uh, funding-wise. So that's, uh, that's where the, uh, the link uh, to the EUDAT project is. And uh, there, there you have my name. If, if you have further questions, please uh, contact me by email. Thank you. Thank you, Keijo. <laughs> Any questions for Keijo? Yes, one in the back. Uh, if uh, you that can do it, have you done it yourself? Uh, in in which sense? Uh, using DO eyes. Uh, we don't have DOIs currently anywhere. So, so you that is using handles currently. Yeah, because uh, I know that ICOS will use. Yeah. Okay. DO eyes. Yeah. Yeah. So that's, uh, that's my question. So it is uh, very possible. It should be possible in you that, uh, as well because they are working with ICOS. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, so that's on their agenda, but uh, uh, it's yeah. not available yet. Okay, thanks. Any other questions? Okay, I could ask one. So, yeah. so now that Alto is involved as a pilot user in the UDOT project, yeah. The EU that project will end at some point. Yeah. Probably there will be a follow-up project. Yeah. Will you? Are you planning on including Alto there if 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 EU that proves to be kind of crucial for implementing Alto's data management policies? I th I think this would be a nice club to join. So, so I, I, I'm I'm interested definitely.